All new at 6, a little girl with a hand made on a 3D printer is throwing out the first pitch tonight at the Red Sox game. And it's not the first time she has been in this major league spotlight. That's right. Seven-year-old Haley Dawson wants to throw the first pitch at every single stadium this year. <laughs> WBZ's Julie McDonald is live for us at Fenway tonight. And Julie, the Sox are helping to make that dream come true. Yeah, that's right, Lisa and David. You smile just the minute you meet this little girl. She is silly. She's strong. The hand that she was born with looks different than other kids, but she is proving one pitch at a time just how unstoppable she is. Before the game even begins, the Red Sox have already hit it out of the park with this special guest, and it's not just because of her dancing skills. Eight-year-old Haley Dawson will throw the first pitch using her 3D printed robotic hand. You'd think she'd be nervous, but this girl has quite the major league resume. She threw her first pitch when she was just five. If you watch the Orioles one, I'm just like, la 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 la. <laughs> Fenway marks pitch number 21, and Haley's mom says watching her confidence grow has been priceless. She was born with Poland syndrome. So, and, and all I ever want as a mom is for her to be happy, to be confident and secure in who she is. And she owns her hand. Her, her, her hand with missing fingers, it does not define her. She tells, she defines herself. While Haley loves the thrill of taking the field and the autographs that come with each visit, she knows she's inspiring people in every new city. Say there's some kid at home watching who you know, is dealing with something that just makes life a little bit different. What's your message to that kid? If I can do it, you can do it. Never be afraid to ask. And that's all. That's all. <laughs> all right, so Haley's obviously thrown a bunch of pitches. She's been to a bunch of ballparks, but she and her mom said, that being said, they were still very excited to see our historic park up close. Live from Fenway, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.